Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome. How are you doing? Uh, I am a Parsi prophet, uh, and I am personally a prophet, as it says right here on the on, on the tag under my name. And I'm here with uh, this guy called the Dizzle, who is a super genius, as it says on his uh, tag down here. So. Um, yes hello everybody hello 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 and welcome once again thank you for joining uh the most popular the most viewed commentary show in the world uh at least on this channel and today we are going to talk about some very very exciting and very important things once again david um, how are you doing yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just a little concerned because you just claim to be a prophet. And I remember seeing last night uh, from from Pakistan. I just I, I totally forgot about it. But uh, I remember seeing tweets uh, about Pakistan, a woman who claimed to be a prophet. Apparently, she's mentally ill um, and she claimed to be a prophet. And so uh, they went after her. Anyway, I saw that on Twitter. I wasn't sure uh, what the actual story is. So I looked it up, ironically, on from the Associated Press, which is has a big AP on it. Oh, yeah. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Well, they're copying. It says, it says Pakistan, AP. That's you. Pakistani police arrested on Friday a Muslim woman on charges of blasphemy after she allegedly claimed she was an Islamic prophet, a charge that can carry the death sentence under the country's laws. Um, well, I don't care about Pakistan, so uh, I'm a prophet. I don't care what they say. But um, yes, and I see the same news, and I saw that yesterday as well. So I took the opportunity to immediately declare that I am a prophet too. And uh, of course, they can do nothing to me, and they know that I'm a true prophet, unlike Muhammad. Uh, but yeah, no, I can. I, I pull it up here as well, and it says here. Um, it's yeah, Pakistan arrest woman for claiming to be Islam's pr Islam's prophet. That's what she said. <laughs> Pakistani police arrested on Friday a Muslim woman on charges of blasphemy. I wanted to put it on the screen, but I can't hear. Unless it's just... weird because if she did claim to be like the prophet, then I would want to do that too. But do we really want to claim to be Muhammad? I mean, it's kind of like saying, "Hey, I'm a child molester." <laughs> Here, yeah, Pakistan arrests woman for claiming to be Islam's prophet. This is uh, AP. They're copying my, uh, my 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 letters here. It says, Multan Pakistan, Pakistani police arrested on Friday a Muslim woman on charges of blasphemy after she allegedly claimed she was an Islamic prophet, a charge that can carry the death sentence under the country's laws. The woman was taken into custody from her home in the city of Faisalabad in eastern Punjab province shortly after a mob had gathered outside demanding that she be lynched after news spread of her alleged claims of prophethood, senior police officer Nasser, Nasser al Rizvi said. I don't know why they uh, come up with the idea of lynching or otherwise punishing a woman who claims to be a prophet instead of just letting her show that she is a prophet or testing her prophethood or maybe showing that she is a better prophet than Muhammad. If Muhammad was around today, would they lynch him too for declaring his prophethood? Maybe they would. 
Yeah, and I, I mean, think about it. Think about how low they set the bar with Muhammad, right? <laughs> like <laughs> the arguments and reasons they give in defense of Muhammad uh, would make almost anyone qualify as a prophet, right? Like, Absolutely. like when they're when they're explaining, like, oh, look at these things that show that he's the greatest man who ever lived when he did some of the most horrible things we've ever we're familiar with. But then they'll be like, ah, but he emphasized uh, giving to charity. So you see, he's the greatest man ever, as if there, there haven't been billions of people exactly like that. But notice, I mean, you could just find any detail about this woman ever being nice to anyone and say, you see, she's the greatest woman ever. This proves that she's a prophet. Yeah. Uh, you, should check out, you should check out the ending there. I, I find it funny that um, Muslims always... Uh, tell the story of Muhammad being brutally rejected and, you know, attacked. And there was a plot to kill him when he declared his prophethood and, you know, came out and all of that. Uh, but then, but then when, a, but then when somebody else here comes out and declares her prophethood, then they are, they basically do whatever people did allegedly to Muhammad. And that is of course very, very sad. Why would they? And and much more extreme, right? I mean, we can't yeah, leave yeah. out the fact. I mean, Muslims complain, oh, look at how they persecuted Muhammad. Muhammad preached for a decade yeah, in Mecca. Yeah. They let him Mecca. live and preach. Yeah. Yeah. Condemning their religious beliefs. He lasted a decade. He this insulted woman, their religious beliefs. He insulted their idols and they let him preach for a long time. This woman didn't last a day. She's already yeah. been locked up and they're trying to lynch her. Yeah. Right. Would would would, yeah. would would she last a decade? In uh, in matter of fact, since Muhammad was in Mecca, would this woman last uh, a decade preaching in Mecca against the religious beliefs of the people of Mecca today? Yeah. Uh, would she last ten? Would she last ten minutes? Let alone ten years? And what? So what we see is that there's once again there's never any concept of consistency. It's look at how horrible those people are for not being more open minded about the claims of Muhammad. Okay, well, the, the followers of Muhammad are way, 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 way more violent and intolerant than the pagans of Mecca were. So if the pagans of Mecca were bad, what does that make Muhammad's followers? The, the best of all people. Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> so, so if they're it the best sense. of all peoples and they're the most violent, then I guess the, the correct criticism of the pagans of Mecca would be that they weren't violent enough, right? They, 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 weren't, they weren't nearly as violent. Anyway. This is much more worse, sir. Yeah. You check out the uh, ending there. It says just just mere allegations of the offense are often enough to provoke mob violence and even deadly attacks. Huh. This is the this is the issue. Uh, there have been a lot of lynchings, a lot of attacks in Pakistan against um, on people who um, allegedly insulted Muhammad, allegedly um, you know criticized him, allegedly um, tore out something Islamic and threw it on the ground. In most of these cases, you see that. Um, a rumor spreads. It's not even confirmed. There is just a rumor. It spreads around, and very quickly people start gathering. And of course, they are bloodthirsty. They are. They have this lust to immediately jump in and punish, uh, and show their virtue and show how much they they care about their their prophet Muhammad so much so much that they would immediately come and, you know, beat up and kill somebody who offends the prophet Muhammad. So um, they do that, of course, because they have to uh, compensate, overcompensate for, for their own lack of uh, proper devotion and faith. So uh, they come and beat to death people who allegedly insult Muhammad. There is not even a proper um, rule of law. There is not even a proper process of identifying among the people whether the person actually did this or not. An allegation is enough to kill. And it's uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's become a, a means of murdering people, um, mm -hmm. especially at, they point out there how this is used to intimidate religious minorities. Uh, if you're a Muslim and you're having a conversation with a Christian, the Christian annoys you. You just go, oh, oh, what's that? Uh, you said, what about Muhammad? Oh, my goodness. And then the person gets uh, massacred. They can do that with yeah. Hindus as well. But uh, I mean, there, I, I recall a case where uh, a guy who owned a owned a. Uh, one store wanted to buy the store beside him or something like that. And the guy wouldn't sell it. So he just went and said, Hey, this guy burned a Quran and they, they killed the guy or something like that. And then yeah, it comes yeah. out that it's all, that it's all fake. Yeah. If you want to get rid of somebody in Pakistan, just say, Hey, he insulted Muhammad. Easy. 
easy peasy. Um, yeah, so today we want to talk about, not about false prophets. Uh, actually, we do also, yeah, uh, because that's, that would be Mohammed. Uh, but we want to talk specifically about a certain video that I uh, mentioned in the title of this live stream. Um, but we will actually not watch that video. I only put that in the title to for clickbait to bring people here. <laughs> Got you. Uh, just kidding. I don't know. People are asking about it, so let's do this. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me if you can hear this. <laughs> no. No. No, because I think it starts Fantastic. with him screaming like a little baby. <laughs> Yes. Okay. All right. So now let's try this again. <laughs> Why did we not die before seeing this day? I want to credit Hatun Tash for uh, posting this and bringing uh, this to David's attention, who brought it to my attention, and Hatun Tash took it from Adam Seeker, who brought it to her attention. So this is uh, a posted prophet narrated uh, that David would said that Hartun Tash said that Adam Seeker That's said That's funny. I was I was just thinking of I was just thinking it was like in a snod. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, let's let's look at this. For, what what is he what is he first of crying about here? <laughs> Oh God, why did we not die before seeing this day? <laughs> wait, wait, what okay, this it goes on. They are wiping their bums with I think the these are just the some I think these are just some clips and that later we get the actual uh we get the uh I think there's just the teaser clips and then later oh, okay, there's the, okay, okay. there's these are about blasphemy they write the names of the companions of the prophet and defecate on them <laughs> We are such unfortunate people that I have never seen blasphemy like this before. I couldn't imagine our enemies will sink this low. I don't know what exactly they're crying about here. What kind of blasphemy they're crying about? Sorry, I'm a sympathetic crier. I just. Unthinkable is happening. Then this is Hart and Tarsh. Yes. So she's talking about. And unthinkable is happening at the heart of Muslim countries. Seventh biggest Muslim country, Pakistan. Muslims are walking away from Islam. Muslims are critiquing Islam. Of she has such a harsh Turkish accent. That I'm Why do you with. despise anyone with a Turkish accent, AP? People with Turkish accents just make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm just kidding like she's i just i just can't get past the fact that she has such a strong accent after they walk away from islam shaking the muslim majority countries research has shown that over 100 000 muslims leave islam every single day pa pause that pause that pause that yes uh we've correct we've corrected this before uh, yeah. But I just want people to know because because I mean Muslims here oh a hundred thousand per year that's so many. Uh, as as is always the case, uh, Ali Dawa does not accurately reflect what he's he's uh, heard or read or whatever it may be. The study that reported that was about apostasy in the United States specifically in the United States. It was a hundred thousand Muslims leaving Islam every year in the United States. That's not counting Europe. That's not counting Pakistan. That's not counting the Middle East. That's not counting any of that. That's not global. So anyway, if it's a hundred, if this was a, this was already a few years ago that this study was done, it was in the United States, a hundred thousand. I'm sure it's gotten worse by now. Um, and then if you f multiply that globally, 
you're dealing with a lot of apostasy, which is what the uh, the, the sheikhs are, are crying about. Yeah, yeah. You know what's so funny about this? I mean, um, we talked about this before, but so this is a... <laughs> I mean, this is obviously a planned, prepared video where he stands there and records this for a specific project f to collect donations and get such a fact wrong. Now, I did the, the same thing as well. I, I did in a, in a conversation in which I referenced the study. I actually got it wrong, I think, in my conversation with Mama Tujab and uh, gave him I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, th I think I gave him uh, the, the wrong thing, the wrong inf information when I was referencing that. So you're later, a false prophet. Yeah, yeah. Later I realized it and thought, oh, okay, I was wrong. Uh, but but the thing is, you know, in the moment when you speak about it, uh, you can you can make such a mistake. But this guy actually stands there and records something for donations to appeal to people, and then gives people such basic, simple wrong information. It's just it's just funny. But yeah, people are leaving Islam in masses. Yeah, but the rest, yeah, the rest of the clips here. Twenty-four percent of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Twenty-three percent are becoming apostates of Muslims, American-born Muslims. Wallahi, wallahi. Some are leaving Islam, yet they are still leading their prayers out of fear. What is going to happen to them? What is going to happen to their family? They are pretending to be Muslim while they are not. Yes, unthinkable is happening at the... I, I did this much better. Maybe I should later play my version of this whole thing, of the rundown of these Muslims announcing that people are leaving us. Yours, yours was not better than Hatun's. Mine is, that is... Mine is a million times better. Unthinkable. That is the unthinkable. While as a team we are discipling approximately 200 ex-Muslim believers in Pakistan, while yeah. unthinkable is happening, what do you think Miss YouTube does? <laughs> Miss YouTube sends me such emails. Hi, Hatun Tash, the CCI Ministries. We have received a legal complaint from a government entity regarding your content. Yeah, so somebody blocked her video. Yeah, yeah, and, and then I think she, I think she gives a bunch of examples until they block the entire channel. Which that that's interesting because I used to get these. All, so 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 this is this is my this is my former channel. I used to always get uh, I, I'd get like six or seven of them at a time, like six or seven uh, notifications from YouTube that particular videos had been blocked in Pakistan. But again, it would be like it would be like batches of them in the you know that I get in the morning. Uh, but then uh, Hatun points out that now they, they've just uh, banned the entire channel in Pakistan. And these guys are why, right? They're flipping out over anyone hearing anything critical of Muhammad. And so now they're just banning entire channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. Uh, somebody asked, why would anybody leave Islam? I, in my personal opinion, it's just um, uh, so the reason I left Islam, for example, is uh, money. I always it's wanted to have money and women. I, I wanted to have a lot of women and um, booze and booze and pork. I want to have a lot pork. of women living at home with me and be my girlfriends. And I have sex with them all the time while they uh, also do online porn and sell their their pornographic pornographic videos to other people and collect a bunch of money. Hey, and... AP, you could do that in Islam as well. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Did you know that? Yeah. Andrew. Oh, he showed I, I, I didn't have that. to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just call yourself Top G and say women are garbage and oh, I, and then and then Muhammad is great and all all will be forgiven. Oh, I had no idea. Why did I leave Islam then? That's dumb. Anyway, no. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh here we come to the video where Hot and summarizes her stuff. A vision then, no. sits down and then cry for Islam. <laughs> They are so upset that people are criticizing Islam. They are so upset that they cannot defend Islam. Therefore, they are just crying. They're going to, they're going to tell us that they are telling us that they are going to celebrate the honor of the Prophet. They hey, that was my birthday. No one told me. So upset that they cannot defend Islam. Therefore, they're hey. just. Wait, my, bir my birthday was honor the prophet day what? i don't know <laughs> hey this look this reminds me of a this reminds me of a 
the 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 day Andrew and Tristan Tate uh, were were released on house arrest. They're not released. They're just put on house arrest instead of mm -hmm. in jail. And then everyone said, "Oh my goodness!" But this is the same day that the Matrix was released. So this is so it's actually part of the Matrix conspiracy that they're announcing it, like giving signals, like we're going to release Andrew Tate to house arrest the same day the Matrix. Uh, came out so that you understand the matrix is the matrix is actually behind this. And even Andrew Tate himself is supporting that. Do you understand? Look at what's going on. Look at what they're doing. And I think they're selling, I think there's they're selling shirts now that are uh pointing this out on the shirts. Do you understand? And so on. And so uh but it, it's funny, you can do the same thing right here. Like uh ah the 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 <laughs> honor the prophet day is on the same day as David's birthday. Is this coincidence? No, this is the great God Allah sending David Wood a message about his blasphemies. Yeah, yeah. You know what's very funny? Um, we, we just mentioned the whole cam girl business thing, which uh, so some some people really si still do not know. But uh, Andrew Tate proudly has a um, cam girl business where he lured girls into. The business with the promise of making them his girlfriends and loving them and they fall in love with him and then he slowly reveals to them that he has such a business and they should come and work for him then he uses a a woman who is his bottom to go and manipulate her and tell her that this is actually great and then they start working for him and he basically exploits and drains them and lies to them about their earnings and takes a lot of what they actually deserve and stuff like that so i kind of thought it's 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 funny that um he is this master who has these women working for him and unknowingly draining them for their for you know their resources but then he complains about the matrix and uh compares stuff to the matrix movie where people are being used and drained without knowing by the matrix so he actually has his own matrix in his business at home while complaining about the matrix out there it's very funny to me anyway just something to not think about any further uh, people will burn this country down they're not just two or three people not just two or three thousand their number in Pakistan is not just two or three thousand. Today, Today I have been shown a report shown. of the cyber crime wing. Of the the cyber wing. crime wing. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this. The the cyber crime wing of the Federal Intelligence Agency of Pakistan. Can they even call it intelligence? Um, is is it has re, it is? <laughs> it's funny what they mean by cyber crime. Guess what? Do they care about child porn? Do they care about any of this stuff? No. The cybercrime wing of the Federal Intelligence Agency of Pakistan is tracking what people say about Muhammad and the Quran. That's yeah. what they're doing, looking for blasphemy. It's funny. Um, Turkey is supposedly a secular country, but even Turkey has a thing, uh, a cyber crimes unit that tracks down people who uh, insult the president or insult Muhammad and Islam and punishes them. Hey, hey, we should do it. We should do a We should do a, a parody show of CSI, but have it CSI Pakistan. Uh -huh. And like uh and like they're just tracking down like kids who are blaspheming and so on. <laughs> like in this in this serious <laughs> office with their with their glasses and sinister talk and like I'm I'm on it. I'm following him right now. He's currently tweeting about Muhammad's child marriage. Get him. This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Um, there was a there was a comment here that's, that was funny, but I lost it. I completely lost it. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> According to that report, these people number four hundred thousand in Pakistan. Four hundred thousand, and wow. only a hundred and twenty were arrested. Can you imagine? Okay, suppose you do you actually got do you guys want to arrest 400,000 people? That wouldn't end well. <laughs> that wouldn't go well. This wow. this this prison was only meant to house 200 inmates but we've crammed 400,000 in there. <laughs> 
400,000 people in Pakistan, out of which they have only arrested 120 people. They only arrested 120 people out of the 400,000 people in Pakistan who commit blasphemy. 400,000. What about goodness. all the others? Arrest all of them now. Eleven of them have been awarded death sentences, but what else can we do? What door of justice should we knock down? Knock on. I want to ask a question. I want to ask a question. Should we burn the cities down as protest? <laughs> What? <laughs> these are their relig these are their religious leaders. These are their guys on television. <laughs> wow. Wow. Should we burn the cities down as protest? I'm imagining a conversation between these people like that that's like totally serious like okay, so what should we do there? 400,000 people who are blaspheming should who, how about we burn the cities down? Yeah, let's let's not rule out burning these cities to the ground uh and starting over. And somebody else is like Let's leave that option. Okay, write it down. But uh, let's let, first off, let's consider the other options. Let's see what else we can we can bomb them. We can bomb them. Yeah, we can bomb them. We can go around killing people in the streets. I don't know. Let's think about this. And it, it, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty interesting that. Like, does does do they not realize that burning cities to the ground because someone criticized Muhammad would. Uh, probably lead to more criticism of Muhammad. You know what I mean? <clears throat> See, there, there's a thing. Um, if you roll a ball, uh, <laughs> some animals, if you, if they see a, 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 a ball uh, rolling out of, you know, from behind a corner, they just see a ball and they cannot think any further. All they see is there's a ball rolling. Others can think there is a ball rolling. It came from that direction. So something is over there. Though that is that is that skill is only reserved for very uh, more, more intelligent, advanced animals. In this case, the leaders, the Islamic leaders in Pakistan, I don't think they qualify. I think they are the ones who only see the ball rolling. They yeah, they, 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 you're saying these guys would fail the ball test. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like like many other animals. Yeah. In this country, you have atheist professors lecturing your students. <laughs> He's got a point. He's got a point there. <clears throat> this is not confined to a few houses. This fire, fire has reached every household. The flames of apostasy. The fire of apostasy. The fire, the flames of apostasy. It has reached every house. These guys are actually pretty good at like rhetoric, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty solid. The sinister icy black hand of death of apostasy is <laughs> ripping our throats and choking the life out of our babies. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's so funny how this guy is actually he is here crying and, and yelling about this this thing. Isn't it so pathetic? This is this is what's so funny about this. Um on one hand, when you talk about or when you talk against Islam, people, the Islamists will tell you how Islam is strong and, you know, you should be afraid and we are strong. We are not softies. We're not like the Western. We're not like the Christians. We do this and we do that. And then when they hear about the apostasy, they're like, oh, no. Yeah, it is. A, people are leaving Islam. It is interesting. They have these two. They're they're like putting on this show, right? Because I still hear, ho ho, you're just jealous because Islam is the fastest growing religion and you know it's going to conquer the world and make you submit. Ha 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 ha. And then you look at them behind the scenes. Oh, what are we going to do? And all the apostasy. Should we burn all the cities to the ground and start <laughs> over? I mean, what are we going to do? Uh, what a joke, man. Yeah, what a religion. What a religion. The scholar of Islam was called blaspheming. Wow. I'm shocked to see the report they've shown me today. This is all happening in this country. The guys. 
बैग को देखकर मेरे रोंग पे खड़े हो गए ये सब <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like, okay, he's uh, like, yeah. he's like one of these news reporters who brings on a person, and then like, and he's like, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy, wait, this guy's talking about burning cities to the ground. I just wanted to, I just wanted a few comments on blasphemy. This guy <laughs> talk about mass murder. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, okay, okay, this, this is, this is going. Uh, well, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I can't say anything because they'll kill me too. <laughs> I'll jump up and it's got to straight murder me, man. <laughs> oh, Paris, this is your responsibility to keep an eye on your kids. And as Mufti Abu Muhammad suggested, parents need to install these applications on their kids' devices to find out what your kids are saying online. So you can yeah. mass murder their their cities if and burn their rooms. You can yeah. burn their rooms to the ground. <laughs> burn their beds and burn their rooms. <laughs> Parents, this is your turn. It's funny how he's talking about devices and applications. There is this organized conspiracy to destroy our country. Let's burn it all to the ground to stop this conspiracy. But imagine the complete, the complete, unfathomable stupidity in this guy's reasoning. His response to what is going on in the country. So in the in his in his nation, the poor, proud nation of Pakistan, which is a pure, clean country, as they have named it, because they are pure uh, Muslims and stuff like that, you know. Uh, this guy thinks there is a huge conspiracy going on. They want to bring this country to the ground. Pakistan, our beloved country. They want to turn people against Islam. They want to make our, our children leave Islam. They want the youth to leave Islam. They want to destroy this country. Therefore, maybe we should go around and burn the cities down. Yeah, yeah and, and he's, he's still uh, like... <laughs> it is it it is like a, a failing the failing the uh, animal ball test uh, <laughs> yeah. situation like hey guys why are people criticizing muhammad and the quran ah because it's a conspiracy because they want to uh destroy the country of pakistan or is it because islam keeps producing dudes like you and people are reacting to it he doesn't yeah. get it. Like people are going to react to this and go, "Whoa, this is crazy." Yeah, the youth that is currently, uh, you know, be, being raised, the the youth that is growing up, the younger people who have become young adults, many of them, when they view stuff like this on TV, even if they are in Pakistan, a lot of people in Pakistan as well, will cringe, will feel disturbed, and will think, ah, "I don't know, man. Maybe there's something wrong." with our mentality with the religion and good job now this guy is this guy is actually aiding the conspiracy <laughs> against pakistan he's aiding the conspiracy to turn people away from islam this guy is aiding the he's a secret agent on tv crying here and saying terrible stuff and making people leave islam he's basically like daniel Hikichi. yeah he's an agent of the matrix yeah 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 he's like like daniel Hikichi. He makes people leave Islam by defending it and crying about it. Yeah. I will tell you. tell you, Mr. Faisal Qureshi, they are writing the Muhammad on their private <laughs> books. <laughs> he said he's saying this on TV. <laughs> you know, what's crazy is when like you you give people ideas, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> they're, they're probably they're probably like. Uh, People who don't like Muhammad watching this going, "Ooh, I hadn't thought, I hadn't thought of that one." Hey, I can write, I can write Muhammad on my butt. I can write Muhammad on my butt, and then go sit out on the toilet with Muhammad on my butt. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see this video. I'm just seeing this here. Uh, I could write, I could write Muhammad's face on my butt. <laughs> And then I, I, I and then and then I'd be putting Muhammad's face in the toilet, like he's giving them ideas. 
I'm just wondering how it was brought to his attention and how he, he acquired the knowledge that people are writing Muhammad on their private parts. It's 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 the it's the Pakistani intelligence agency. <laughs> hey, listen, shake, listen, shake. Uh, we've got this secret document. We've got the secret <laughs> document of our research of the internet. Did you know that 78 people have written Muhammad on their butts? <laughs> <laughs> What they are? I need to go to. I need to go explain this on television immediately. Yeah, and we also must tell you this is this is very sensitive. We can only vaguely tell you, only vaguely tell you, dear scholar. But some of them, some of them have Muhammad written on their on their they're genitals. Nut, they're nut sacks. <laughs> they have it on their on their. People penis. are writing. People are writing mo <laughs> mo nuts. <laughs> no nuts on their on their testicle. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! Some of them are writing all of these nuts. Isn't that isn't yeah. it isn't that isn't that isn't that funny that like if a woman wrote Muhammad a, across her yeah. breasts, like this guy would have no problem with it. But if it's uh, Muhammad saying that uh, a grown man with a beard should suck on her breast to avoid having sex with her, uh, this guy would be fine with that. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That gives me a lot of ideas now. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm feeling. I feel there's a lot of inspiration that I'm getting right now. A lot of ideas to think of after listening to this and watching this. Yeah, I'll think about it. See what we can yeah, do. Yeah, what, what, what these guys should be thinking is how much have we enraged people against our religion? that dudes are writing Muhammad on their penises and posting pictures somewhere on some weird site. Yeah, Sheikh, I don't know how to tell you this, but <clears throat> there's this one guy who has written who has written Muhammad on his penis. <laughs> and then and then we've got we've got guys with the Islamic <laughs> intelligence agency look going on these these uh, apparently uh, blasphemy porn <laughs> websites and looking at all the blasphemy porn pictures and then running and telling this guy how bad the situation is. Our team saw this when they were researching. Hey, 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 this is, pro the this, is pro this is probably like an excuse. Like they're walking in there, like someone walks in the office. Hey, Ahmed, are you looking at porn? I'm just doing research on blasphemy. Did you know that? Did you know that these guys are writing, uh, uh, writing Muhammad on their, on their penises and the women are uh you know writing quran verses on their vajayjays what's up with that man what's up that's what i was researching it was research <laughs> don't blame me for research this is my job my job is to look at porn <laughs> what's wrong with these guys man what is this what is this oh boy. Oh, oh boy oh boy the, the bad thing is also if you write it on your penis it's like and you assume that this that this guy is not doesn't have a concept of abiding by um mm -hmm. Is by Islamic, by an Islamic sense of morality, if he's sexually active, where does that go? Where does this go? This is just this is going way too far, man. Way too far. You cannot let this happen. Therefore, burn burn the cities down. Burn the cities down. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm wondering if he, I'm wondering if he realizes that this clip is what he's going to be famous for. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he goes into more detail here. He says, I will only vaguely tell you that people and, are writing Muhammad on their private parts. And look, I have the picture. Look! <laughs> what they done? <laughs> oh, well. Let this image be seared into your brain. Hey, look at this. Listen, listen to this. he's. It's it's fun. Like in Urdu and in Indian languages, they often have like uh, you know English words mixed in. Uh, and here. <laughs> hey, look at this guy cracking up, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they are writing there is no god but allah and muhammad is his messenger on their private parts <laughs> this, this, 
I didn't imagine this video would be like this when I planned on watching this here. <laughs> this is this is one of the best things ever, man. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's completely losing it, man. It's... They're writing Muhammad on their private parts. They're writing there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger on their private parts. They are writing the name of... But but what's funny is, you know, humans humans uh, think quite a bit in pictures. So as he's saying this, people are actually picturing, right? Like girl, yeah, yeah. girl's vajay you know, getting, uh, <laughs> writing, writing the shahad on and stuff like that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is, this is crazy, man. I seriously, seriously though, that's what what that's what I always think about when people uh, give it, give examples of such things. I immediately think, okay, how many people are visualizing this right now? So <laughs> when he is talking about this, I mean, just imagine, just imagine a woman. <laughs> it's hard to write. It's hard to write down there yourself. So she actually has <laughs> one of her friends over there, right in front of her, writing on her vagina. She's writing la 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 la. <laughs> They're writing men are writing Allahu Akbar down their penises. Can you imagine? Ah! This is actually this is actually if I was a if I was still a Muslim and I heard this, I heard him describe these things, I would inevitably visualize these things and I would feel very disturbed by it. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe he should sit down and rethink this again and to wonder if this is helpful or, or harmful. You know? Just picture it here. Let me draw. It. Just think about it. Yeah, I'll give you an example. So there's this guy. He has yeah, okay, I'm not gonna describe it any further. But you know, imagine. <laughs> Let me draw it with this Sharpie. I will show you what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we not burn every city to the ground before this? They are telling us that they're going to celebrate honor the prophet day on David Wood's birthday. This guy is just suppressing his laughter. He's pretty like. Well, the, it's funny because it could be multiple things. It could be like, okay, I want to, sh I, I want to, I, I don't want him to see that I'm actually grinning over this, or he could actually be crying over this blasphemy, or he could be thinking, my goodness, this is going to be on YouTube and everyone's going to see me. <laughs> I'm the one who put this together. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I, I mean, what he's doing is like he's doing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Keep it together. To keep it together. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> keep it together i'm not laughing i'm not laughing you cannot laugh right now this is going to be disastrous if you laugh no. yeah he, he's one of, this is one of these guys who probably gets the giggles and can't stop so like he's like he right now he's like okay think about really really bad things think about really really bad things so i don't laugh think about bad 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 things yeah. Oh, yeah, or, yeah. or 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 he's like oh no maybe they found my blasphemy pictures that i've been posting in secret oh no what if i'm in trouble yeah yeah, or he's like, "What in the world am I doing? I should have called in sick today. What, the, what is this? What am I doing? What have I done? Why am I here?" It could be anything. It could be anything. Until we see his face, we will never know. Oh wait, there he is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wait. I Why did we not die? <laughs> We need our scholars to guide us. Yeah, we definitely do. Like you, bud. Successfully suppressed his laughter here. And it's like. <laughs> I don't mean to be melodramatic. <laughs> Late man. <laughs> I don't I don't mean to dial it right up to ten here and talk about burning cities to the ground, but uh you know. I mean seriously, man, you have a grown man here with a beard sitting there 
as a religious authority <laughs> and saying, oh, parents, for the sake of the Holy God, we the Quran, rise up and play your part. Do something about this. Do Burn something it! About this. Burn them Please, all! Please, I beg you. I beg Burn you. Burn them all! Jump in, do something. They are doing table things. They are writing Muhammad on their penis. <laughs> Rise up and play your part. Okay, I will. Save your children, your country, and Islam. I didn't mean to be melodramatic. <laughs> That's the best line. I didn't mean to be melodramatic. <laughs> Hey, hey, let's just be clear. Everyone cool. must play their role in this role. Yeah. Everyone must play their role in this role. Everybody. This is, this, this, this is, we all have a role to play in this role, ladies and gentlemen. This is too much. Through this TV channel, we need to send a message that we will not tolerate this blasphemy. And everyone must play their role in this role. Yeah. Hey, could, 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 could you, can you imagine if, uh, you know how things, some sometimes people don't, subtitle it they actually dub it for other languages can yeah, you imagine yeah. like a like a reporter having to dub this through this channel <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they are to, they sorry. are telling us that they are going to celebrate the honor of the prophet day on the 7th of april <laughs> oh god why did we not see why did we not die before this day <laughs> That would be the dub. <laughs> but he's like that's a man ah! we need our scholars to guide us. We need the hak and the hikmah. Or parents, da, for the sake da, of the Holy Kaaba and the Quran, rise da, up and play your part. The hak and the hikmah. <laughs> <laughs> and save your children, your country, and Islam. I didn't mean to be melodramatic. <laughs> I don't think it's done, man. I think he keeps going. Or, I, I think this other dude jumps in. We will not tolerate this blasphemy, and everyone must play their role in this role. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? Big baby, what are you gonna do? Big baby with a beard, are you gonna burn the cities down? What are you gonna do, man? Big yeah. giant baby, what are you gonna yes, do? Yes, he wants to burn everything to the ground. That's what he wants to do. <laughs> oh, I would want everyone to stand up so we can send a message to our nation that a place where the honor of the prophet isn't safe, nothing is safe. We'll just burn you all to the ground. Wow. This is a safe space. <clears throat> We're making sure that this is a safe space. Why is this TV set made to look like a mosque? They do this, man. They, 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 I think this is a... If this is if this is new, if this just happened, then this might be a, a Ramadan program for which they often do these things. These They, they, they design a set specifically for in a festive, weird, nightly Ramadan fashion. Well, hopefully they don't burn the country to the ground, but for Ramadan. <laughs> this is this is so funny. I'm imagining this as a as a Ramadan show where they are preparing for the the breaking of the fast yeah. in the <laughs> evening. People are waiting hey, and hey, here. Here, you here. Go. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to be melodramatic, but I haven't eaten in eight hours. Oh that's why I want to burn everything to the ground. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what would be awesome? You know what would be awesome? Turn this into one of those Snickers commercials. <laughs> <laughs> like all of a sudden, like, shake, you're a little grumpy. And he takes it, and then he's like a normal person after that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. This is there, There's a lot of potential here. I think people should clip this guy and make a meme out of this. People should use this. You could do, like, all kinds of different different dubs to just like the just like that Hitler video from uh, from the downfall. That people use for all kinds of things. Untergang. Yeah, from right. the Untergang. Untergang. Der, der Untergang. Yeah, you could use the same. You das war ein Befehl! <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Das you know war what, ein Befehl! You know what's so funny about that? If you speak German, that whole thing is a complete, it doesn't work. The meme doesn't work. It not, I, I speak German. I watch those videos where people put different subtitles different on subtitles. it. Yeah, yeah. I, and yeah, I, and yeah, I, I don't, ever, it doesn't work. It, it's something in my mind goes wrong. I just, I've, I've made, work. I've made several of those over the years and I always get complaints for German. They're like, it doesn't, I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't be hearing him say one thing and then have you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to not know the language properly 
and not not a language, you know, for the for those memes to work. You could turn on the you could turn off the sound and then look at it, but then it's just not the same thing, you know. Yeah. Anyway, interesting, very important uh, note here to add. I would want everyone to stand up so we can send a message to our nation that a place where the owner of the prophet isn't safe, nothing is safe. Okay, stand up, everybody. Oh. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up! Rise up from your chairs! <laughs> why, why are they standing up? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even understand. He said rise up. He was saying rise up! Rise but up why? to burn everyone to the ground! And... <laughs> okay. The of... Oh, okay. So we stand up now? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up for a moment here. Yeah. <laughs> This guy, after suppressing his laughter, is saying this issue is not being discussed as it deserves to be discussed. He's saying these pigs who are doing these things should be shown to the whole world. Yes. Yes, take yeah, photos yes, of their penises yes. with Muhammad on it and show it to the world. We will show the, the vajayjays with the shahada <laughs> written across them. <laughs> we will show them to the entire world. Everyone go to the porn site. <laughs> www.quranporn.com where you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they make a they make a website just for that of people of women with with uh, the shahada written on their on their boobs, people with their penises, Muhammad written on it what's, to what's show it to the world. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm I'm actually dead serious about them giving people ideas, right? Apparently, there is <laughs> it, it is a thing over there. Oh boy! But other people in other parts of the world, they haven't necessarily thought of this, but they're like, oh, because see, look, there are people. And I'm one of I'm not gonna do this sort of stuff, but I'm 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 one of the people who I think when I, I see when I see something enrages you, I'm like, oh, that is a mental note. If I ever want to tick this guy off, this is what sends him into a fit and makes him want to burn entire towns to the ground. Now I know, in case I ever get annoyed at this guy, what really ticks him off. Um, but there are people who are watching this going, Ooh, these mullahs really don't like this. Oh, huh, where's my Sharpie in my cell phone? I will be, I will be right back. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is ridiculous. I never even thought about this. I thought about similar things, but different things. I never even for once thought about writing the Muhammad's name or the Shahada or other things on your private parts. I never, ever thought about this. And now I think, I, I feel like, why have I never thought about this? Yeah, you, you know, you know, and you know, what's crazy is like, you can, you, you can tell these guys are like way more, way more emotional than, uh, yeah. than lots of other people. They, 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 they dial things right up to 10, but notice, if these guys are instantly just programmed to dial things up to 10 in a fit of rage, guess what? When people then become ex-Muslims, they can still have that, that, that characteristic, that trait. In other words, if we're going to blaspheme, we're going all the way. We're dialing it all the way up to 10 and writing stuff on our penises and stuff. So he doesn't realize, like, <laughs> he should be trying to calm everyone up. Guys, let's all calm down. You stop writing stuff on your penises. We'll stop mm -hmm. burning cities to the ground. Uh, but no, it's, ah, oh, you're going to do that, so we're going to do this. Ah, oh, now you're doing it more. Well, we'll do it more, too. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, boy. This is just, this is indeed ridiculous. Indeed. <laughs> show them, show them to the whole world. I'm sorry I got distracted. You, you, you put don't imagine, and then I started thinking of the song Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the Shahada written on penises. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't hard to do. It is hard. Uh <laughs> All you need's a Sharpie and a boner too. <laughs> Imagine all the blasphemy. <laughs> On the internet, <laughs> you, you may say, no, let's no. burn them all. 
what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy. Oh my kid. <laughs> This is, oh man, this is not what I expected from this video. <laughs> oh man, this is too much. <laughs> this, is too, <laughs> this is too much. Omar, Omar, Omar oh, Alkerni said, atheist and Christian. I mean, just how? Omar, look at this screen. Look at what's on this screen. That's how. <laughs> Your, you guys, your your leaders are uniting people in blasphemy. Oh boy! You're, oh. You're, you guys are uniting the rest of the world against uh, this this nonsense. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Oh. Oh, oh, this is too much. I'm dying. Hey, look at it! Look at it! All of them should be exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Expose them. Expose them. Do it. All of their pictures should be exposed to the whole world. <laughs> oh, boy. Matter of fact, just look at the screen behind me right now. <laughs> These people who are being given death sentences, all of them should be exposed to the whole world so those families can be shamed for the kind of children they have raised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a very common mentality in Muslim cultures where it's blamed on the parents on how they raise them. So it's like, how dare you raise such a child? How yeah, dare and, you? And, and that does be, be, because uh, because it's a it's a it's an honor shame culture. That's yeah. You know, sometimes you have kids who are who like they, they don't care about Muhammad, but they still care care about their parents. And so that's how you shame them into not speaking against Muhammad is this will lead to to your parents being shamed. So yeah. you don't want to do that. And 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 I mean Nabil's actually an example of that. That was, I mean, once he left Islam and uh, didn't believe in Muhammad anymore. Thought Muhammad was a was a total uh, creepy weirdo. He was still for like a couple of years reluctant to criticize Muhammad, and it was always because he he doesn't you know he doesn't want to want this to lead to to uh, shame for his parents. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this is funny. Um, when I when when my parents found out that I left Islam and that I'm also speaking about it, one of the first things that my mother said to me was. Why have you never thought about what all our friends and all the people will say about us? And mm -hmm. I just thought and then said to them that I, I heard this my entire life about every single thing. I'm sorry, but I can't just I can't <laughs> live my whole life depending on how you know, what people will say about you, how they will react to you or how, how it will reflect on you. You, know, you didn't do that. You didn't have any regard for what people will say about your parents when you made certain decisions going into extreme religiosity and giving up uh, your you know the social aspect and all of that so if everybody just if everybody lived their life by what will people think about my parents then where would you get where yeah and and get? and it's actually it, the quran actually condemns people yeah, for yeah. this if it when it was convenient right when it was when it was the the polytheists of mecca saying uh, hey, you know, you're dishonoring our forefathers. Muhammad didn't care. He didn't. He didn't care. He still wanted you to convert, even if it was, you know, even if it would get you into trouble uh, with your families, and even if it was, you know, an insult to your families and so on. Exactly. If you believe that that that, that you are upon the the right thing, if you're if you're if you believe that you are doing the right thing, then shouldn't that be more important than what people will say or what people will? will do what people will say about your parents or about your culture or whatever it is isn't that more important than your reputation doing the right thing i think there's uh i think there's more here yeah yeah organized conspiracy so we're at, we got organized conspiracy they've created these websites you know what's funny is again putting ideas in people's heads but also at the same time 
these guys are announcing to the population there are these websites. Now people are like, oh, where's this website at? Ooh, hmm, I Ooh, never let, me, let me find this website. Apparently there are pictures of uh, boobies, boobies with Quran verses <laughs> on them. Ooh, I got to see this. I want to see boobies with Quran verses on them. This is very Quran boobies. <laughs> Quran, bo www.quranboobies.com. <laughs> I'm going to make a note to Google that later. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> there is an organized conspiracy where they have created these websites where they share photos of private parts with these names of sacred personalities written on. See, really? Really? I've seen them. Really? Are there, there really are websites that people have created just to share photos of private parts of Muhammad and other sacred personalities. Where I don't, I don't really believe that, to be very honest. But I'm really prove it, prove it, Sheikh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it right now. <laughs> show it to us. Show it to the world. Let's go through all the pictures. All show these, it to the people guys, at home. <laughs> all these guys pulling out their phones. What? Let me. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. I'm leaving a like on this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, we should, uh, we should, uh, we should make. We should make commercials for our websites or uh, or uh, or YouTube channels or something like that. We'll dress up like shakes. We're freaking out like this guy, and they're like, oh and, and the apostate post the apostate province channel. Look at this stuff he's posting. Oh my goodness! And just just totally freak out. Yeah. And uh, hey, we can even be spouting gibberish the entire time and just have it subtitled. <laughs> Like we're really uh, we're freaking out and crying over uh, over like your channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. at this. That's disgusting. Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This is this is this is really really funny. Yeah. Later they said maybe before the show they sat together and they looked at those websites and were like, oh, this is actually creative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least this guy's a little more calm. <laughs> They're wiping their bums with pages of the Quran. With the pages of the Quran. <laughs> They've got entire rolls of toilet paper made with this. Made with this. They, they don't even have rolls of toilet paper anymore. They just have they just have the book sitting open and they tear off pages. Let me show it to you right here. They have pages of the Quran and they wipe it like this. Let me show it to you right here. And, and they're, 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 <laughs> they're clogging up. They're clogging up toilets with pages of the Quran because <laughs> paper doesn't flush very well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. A lot of detail. They seem to have gone through all of these things. <laughs> <laughs> if I were there, I'd just be like, what else are they doing? Give us more. <laughs> Tell us more. Tell me more, Sheikh. Tell me more. I want to know more. I want to know. Please. I want to know all of it. I want to hear all of it. Tell me. What else did you see? What else are they doing? They're wiping the bombs! <laughs> <laughs> They write the names of the companions of the prophet and then defecate on them. They write the names of the companions of the prophet and then defecate on them. And then they go pee pee. They go pee pee on them too. Number one, number two, number one, number two on the Quran. They Sheikh, go number two. They, they go number two on Surah two. Sheikh, tell me more. What else are they doing? What else do they do to, the, to those pages? What else are they doing? Tell me. Tell me all hey, of that, it. Don't leave anything. That more. could be the that could be the title of one of those one of these videos they're talking about. Number two on Surah two. <laughs> oh boy. They are using young men and women to do these kind of things. Also, this is a big conspiracy. This is uh, a secret organization, probably the Illuminati the Matrix. Uh, or the Matrix, hiring uh, young people, maybe brainwashing them and programming them into pooping on pages of the Quran and writing down names of Prophet Muhammad and his companions and then defecating upon look, it look and at, posting that on the internet. Look at this. He says there are women on these websites who honey trap men and make them do these things. So this dude's actually saying there are these, these, uh, these uh, uh, Andrew Tate-esque webcam girls and then they're like, uh, ooh, do you want a private chat with me? And the guy's like, oh, would I? And then she's like, okay, if you want a private chat with me, you have to send a picture of Surat al-Fatiha written on your nutsack. And then the guy's like, okay. 
<laughs> like, okay, that's what this dude is saying, right? Yeah. They, they, David, you just, I didn't say it. That's what this guy's saying. He's saying women are like, the women are on these sites honey trapping men into doing these things. Hey, hey and, and and the women, they they all work for the same uh, people, the same matrix, and they have a daily quota. Like you have to deliver so many pictures of <laughs> of penises with vomit on them, which by the way gives you <laughs> gives you gives you a bonus of this much money at the end of the month. You, you, you unlocked your bonus. <laughs> Wiping yourself with the Quran is almost as good but not quite as much uh but you can also just tell them to write certain names on paper and defecate on them that is the that is the entry bonus uh but you could uh, do that too if you don't get I, them I to just, write muhammad on their penis yeah. I think think about this if there were <laughs> if there were a t if there were a tv show cable of course if there were a tv show about this webcam business <laughs> with, girls, <laughs> with hot chicks Honey trapping men oh, into writing Quran verses on their penises. <laughs> if there were a show about that, I don't mean you don't have to show anything, but just the concept and the like the drama behind the scenes and some, you know, some Andrew Tate figure. What? Yeah, what? You only got you only got seven pictures of guys today. <laughs> Not enough. Especially 20 minimum. And then he's like beating the woman and stuff. And not, not, getting it, not getting enough blasphemy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. Now I'm thinking of maybe I should start such a business. I don't know. I should sign up for Andrew Tate's, Andrew Tate's uh, Cam Girl PhD course in which he teaches you how to create a Cam Girl business. And then I could turn that into a Cam Girl business where people invite people to write Muhammad on their penises. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, we could take Andrew Tate's advice and then just use it in in this way. But uh, uh, someone, one of the uh, one of and the yeah. one of the Muslim women on Twitter who has been criticizing the Uma for rallying around Andrew Tate, um, actually, went, I think she went. She, I think, yeah, yeah, she went to Tate's website and asked about the PhD course on uh, building the webcam business and asked if it's still available. And they're like, of course it is. And they directed her towards. So it is. For, all it the, is. for all the, for all the people, Oh, that's just in the past. No, no, these still, you can still get the PhD course on, uh, on how to uh, start a webcam girl business. That's why that's what I, that's what I mean. Like there are Muslims who are still defending this and I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering like when he was arrested, a lot of people came out and wanted to sign up for his uh, for his course. We need and to support Andrew Tate to pay like fifty dollars a month to this rich guy who was bragging about his cars. Uh, we support can't. We can only fifty dollars to learn his courses. And I wonder if Muslims signed up to support their new Muslim brother and of were then exposed to how to lure uh, girls and manipulate them and turn them into your online sex workers. Mm -hmm. Maybe they learned something now. I don't know. And then they become obsessed with it. And then eventually they start a business where they're making a uh, Quran porn. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> of course it has to go there. Definitely. There are women on these websites who honey trap men and make them see it's the women's fault. Burn them to the ground first. That's 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 pretty pretty messed. Some आदेश से वो attract करती हैं नौजवान लड़कों को जब वो sites के ऊपर visit करते हैं तो वहाँ से वो खुद बहुत वो के वो उनके जिनाब वो pages खुलते हैं तो वो उनको इस तरफ attract करती हैं कि इसके I feel like he's saying a lot of words, but there is only a very short subtitle here. There are women. There are women on these websites who honey trap men and make started, them do these things. He started talking about he started talking about a foreign conspiracy. There is an organized foreign conspiracy behind it, and they are pouring in millions and billions of rupees. Billions to set up these websites where people post their penises with Mohammed written on it. This is a global conspiracy just to bring down a glorious country of Pakistan. This is how they are trying to destroy our nation by letting people poop on the Quran pages and to write Muhammad on their penises. We have to stand up and do something right now. This is a national emergency. This is a, a national security issue. Def yeah. Con 1. <laughs> Oh boy. 
بیرونی کروڑوں اربوں روپیہ آ رہا ہے اور منظم سازش کے تحت چار لوگ تھے جنہوں نے دو ہزار In 2019, there were four people who started a group, which has now ballooned. This is, this is actually good to know for uh, compilations about them worrying about the uh, avalanche of apostasy. But to 2019, there were four people who started a group, which has now ballooned to 400,000 people. Those four people have now been sentenced to death. Okay, so you got the four, but there's 400,000 now, genius. Yeah, this is not about apostasy. This is this is them crying about the avalanche of apostate penises, uh, which has now belonged to four hundred thousand hey, hey, people. That, if 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 you start if you start the webcam site, uh, yeah, you could call it the apostate penis. <laughs> <to your. laughs> yeah, AP same initials. That's good. Uh, those four people have now been sentenced sentenced to death this, we are learning about the weirdest fetishes here from uh this again again stuff. from the from the islamists we learned from De from muhammad hijab before about all kinds of uh sexual practices in the name of islam and here now we learn a lot of stuff from these muslim scholars is, yeah isn't it creepy that you can't you can't watch one of their spokesmen without being exp exposed to all kinds of weird creepy stuff that you've never heard of <laughs> It like is, I, I i had no idea this was going on i had no i, I had no clue this was going on i never heard of this no. i've never heard of this i'm now being introduced to this very very messed up weird stuff that is going on thanks to these dear islamic scholars who with their amazing morals so i don't know and guess what i, I mean i mean we we we're dealing with islam and blasphemy issues all the time we didn't know about this so guess what there are probably tons of other people who didn't know about this but are now like searching for it you know what i mean yeah yeah they should uh, i'm imagining there should be a movie where the scene of these guys on tv explaining this and then they show people watching the tv from all over the world and hearing this for the first time and being surprised and having this it's idea a, it's a modified version of the streisand effect where uh, yeah, these, guys, yeah. these guys are trying to shut everything down by murdering everyone and it's uh Oh, we can't. We we don't understand how it went from four people to four hundred thousand in four years. Let's try to hide it more so that not more people let's, find out about this. Let's try to hide it by announcing it on television. <laughs> 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 I like this guy's uh, headgear. Yeah, I like how it like pushes his ears out so they stick out. Like he yeah. doesn't have he doesn't have ears that stick out, but his headgear yeah. makes his ears stick out. Yeah, he has very, some very good style here going on. Yeah. Everybody should look like this, which is why we should spread Islam to everyone by force. This includes sons of military generals and judges, as well as the son of Pakistan's third richest man. These guys all seem to know a lot about this situation. I've never seen you cry like this. <laughs> Look at him consoling him. Oh my goodness. I've never seen you cry like this. Uh, uh, definitely not after, you know, mobs run out and kill women in the streets over mere accusations of blasphemy. I never saw you cry like this. Never saw you cry over all the terrorist attacks and uh, uh, Muslims blowing up each other's mosques and so on. Never seen you cry like this uh, hearing about uh, Don't worry, Sheikh. Don't people, worry, writing, Sheikh. people writing Muhammad on their penises. Don't worry, Sheikh. This is very hard to handle. You don't have to think about those people writing things about on their genitals. Don't think about all the people. Don't think about a man pulling down his pants. Dear Sheikh, maybe we can solve this. Maybe we can burn the cities down. Don't worry about this. Don't think about this woman exposing her breasts and pulling a uh, big breast and then grabbing the marker and writing out the Shahada on those. The way has very interesting breasts. And yeah. <laughs> I've never seen you cry like this. <laughs> cry me a river. Cry oh. me a river. I, I, I secretly i secretly really love that song it's one of my uh guilty pleasures i would never tell it to anybody but i i just i secretly love that song very much. i, I, I just like it for i just like it for for that particular purpose yeah like yeah. when someone's crying cry me a river yeah 
Yeah, that's the thing. Like when I, when the whole uh, Russian invasion of uh, Ukraine started, I felt I felt shocked and I felt sad. But one of the first things that I thought about was Crimea and Crimea River, that song. So I had to listen to that at first after giving an appropriate reaction to the the terrible stuff that is happening in the world. So yeah. we just had a <laughs> there's a super chat from House of Hickman. <laughs> But he's yeah. saying he's got a he said he's got a teddy bear, a Quran, and a Sharpie. But that would actually be, <laughs> that'd actually be funny. Do you know what they're doing? Here, let me show you. I'm sorry, I already beheaded this one, but the girls are taking it. And they're taking the Sharpie. And they're writing in the Sharpie. They're, they're right, they're writing with the Sharpie and writing and they're writing on <laughs> They're writing a law. They could, ah, with, the, with the sharpie, with the sharpie. Ah. They could use some Barbie dolls. They could maybe uh, order some Barbie dolls and then demonstrate it on TV. Like this is how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like psychologists do with kids. Like, tell yeah, us what yeah. they show us on the doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, shake. Show us, show us what they did on the doll. <laughs> I'm imagining a Dawa channel where they are asking for donations to finance dolls where, so that they can show to their audience where exactly people are writing uh, hey, Muhammad hey, on it. Hey, the hey, 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 probably at the end of this video, it was Muhammad Hijab. Now, if you want to stop these blasphemers, then just contribute <laughs> to our Dawa Center. <laughs> Donate now and stop women from writing Allahu Akbar on their yeah. bosoms. Click the link so people don't the link. write Muhammad on their penises. Salallah <clears throat> yeah. Hey, um, and then and then the update from from Ali Dawa. Every year, one hundred no no four hundred thousand ex-Muslims are writing. They're writing. <laughs> they're writing the Shahada on their penises. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy hey now i want to take the, this video and uh <laughs> add some sad dawa music to it and publish it like that <laughs> oh boy i'm gonna do that we are such unfortunate people that i have never seen blasphemy like this before you sure are unfortunate but not for the reason you think guys <laughs> It's so unfortunate. We have. How could we ever? How could we ever let this happen? I couldn't all imagine. We, They're all, all crying. We, Look at this. They're all crying. All we did was spend 14 centuries slaughtering everyone who disagreed with us in the name of Allah, and now people are mad about it. This is so. What? What? So, what, what went wrong? This is so stupid. And and it's it's oh. funny because their 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 actual their actual conclusion is we haven't been violent enough. We 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 haven't slaughtered enough people, and this then the result is that everyone's blaspheming. That's their conclusion. That's that's the takeaway for for these guys. Look is this the perfect? Is this the perfect? Look, um... he's got one of the pictures in his hand. <laughs> he's got it rolled up in his hand. He's got a he's got a penis a Quran penis pic. <laughs> Uh, I doubt he would have. It would have the penis. He, he probably has a woman with boobs. And hey, it, would, it would be funny. It'd be funny yeah. too. <laughs> have you ever seen that clip from Speaker's Corner when someone just says one of the Dawa guys just "You're gay" and he flips out for like? <laughs> he goes on his, he I goes know. On his two minute rant. I'm not gay. What are you saying? I, 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 I want to. I would. I would like to play it, but it's very, very obscene the way he talks. Yeah. I, I I just saw this. I just saw that a few weeks ago. I, I remember my wife was uh, sitting with me there and I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw somebody link the video and then I saw that for the first time and I, I completely lost it, was rolling on the floor laughing about this. It's, it's just, it's so funny because the two, the two people are having a conversation, completely unrelated conversation. And then he comes in, into the car, he crashes the conversation and suddenly says, you listen, I'm not gay, I love women. And then he goes on a huge rant about that. It's so look, stupid. Look, like, like that's that, that's what you can do with this guy. This guy's sitting here like this. And then someone's like, hey, is that a is that a Quran penis pick in your hand? He's like, what? No! I'm not gay! Look! It's a, it's a vagina! You see? Look at the vagina! See? I'm not women. gay! I'm not gay! Liar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So 
funny. They're all crying here, sitting and crying, while also believing that people should be killed and massacred for these things that they do. It's just, is this, isn't this the perfect example of what you call crocodile tears? Is it? Yep. I don't know. And it's it's really I mean they, they also understand their audience right they understand they're try they're trying to enrage their audience to send their viewers on a killing spree right they, Look how they're, 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 this is crying. this is encouraged I mean how clear could it be that this is calling for and encouraging the mob violence we keep hearing about from Pakistan yeah. the yeah. reason you have the mob violence is that the general population is constantly being encouraged by these guys who are not doing that themselves they're safe on their television show they're encouraging everyone else to go out and do it yeah yeah parents viewers how could we let this happen we're crying look why don't you go out there and do something about this before we have to collectively burn the cities down <laughs> Oh, that's a cry. Yeah. I've never seen blasphemy like this before. I couldn't imagine our enemies will sink this low. <laughs> How is she smiling Ooh. after all that? Uh, she looks very happy. How is she smiling after so much blasphemy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simply crying. Ford. She has a very strong Turkish smile. I just can't. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a compilation together of AP complaining about anything having to do with Turkish people. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hey, boy. I'm just kidding, of course. People are saying about their prophet. They are simply crying that people are walking away from Islam. For decades, they denied. There are ex-Muslims. Now they are publicly talking about there are ex-Muslims who are causing more ex-Muslims. It wasn't only publicly on the television. Also, they did press release. In the press release, they are expressing they identify 400,000 people through social media talk. <laughs> oh, wait, According no, to the data given to the Legal Commission on Blasphemy of Pakistan by Cybercrime FIA, uh, which was given to the honorable court there are over 400,000 <laughs> bastards cursed <laughs> people it is the utmost responsibility of pta to urgently put filters on social media so that this kind of blasphemous material should not get uploaded in pakistan wow wow thinking about islam they captured 119 of them and 11 of them were it is because of the effort of them that we have captured 119 people under the Cybercrime Act of Pakistan who were involved in publishing blasphemous material on the internet, and 11 of them are sentenced to death. They have enough material evidence against them that no court has accepted their request for bail. This is what get, what you get in Pakistan if you write Mohammed on your penis. Are sentenced to death. Yeah. And very proudly they are expressing that actually they cannot be bailed out. The Legal Commission of the Blaspheme of Pakistan, that's a group. They have a group simply hunt down ex-Muslims. They have a group simply hunt down Muslim background believers. They have a group simply hunt down those individuals who are critiquing or commenting on Islam. They've got an organization <laughs> for this. Also, they are having this conference labeled as day of protection i love how she's having fun yeah. <laughs> talking about this. i know it's, it's like it's, it's she's funny. really enjoying this <laughs> of the honor of the prophethood well i am sure conference is gonna fix everything <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh. forcing blaspheme laws in pakistan so that out of fear, people cannot walk out of Islam. So out of fear, people can stuck in Islam. Remember the statement was made. Muslims are praising the law of apostasy because without law of apostasy, there wouldn't be Islam. Yeah. But as it has been said, unthinkable is happening. And of course, as a Christian, my prayer is they will walk to the arms of Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. One day, everyone is going to identify Jesus as 
their lord. That is going to happen willingly yeah. or unwillingly. That's yeah, going to happen yeah. for all the efforts Pakistan is going to Amen. kill the apostates. Amen. It is happening. It is happening. <laughs> <laughs> It is happening. <laughs> it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami, and to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult times. That it will knock us over. It is happening. <laughs> oh, amen. And, and and again and again these same guys if they're messaging us because they they have to put on a, on a good front it's uh ah fast destroying religion you can't stop it it's so powerful and behind the scenes oh we're doomed what are we gonna do yeah wow. a man and a woman cry me a river cry me a river all you shakes cry me a river <laughs> Anyway, uh... Assalamu alaikum. My heart is breaking. Oh, brothers and sisters, my soul is aching. Brothers and sisters, did you know that so many people are leaving Islam every day? Why would anybody leave such a beautiful religion? Why would they choose to become a sick disbeliever instead? A'udhu billah. Brothers and sisters, 100,000 Muslims are leaving Islam every single year. Over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. I'm telling you, this is serious stuff. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. <laughs> yes, we say that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and Islam is growing day by day. But the standard narrative has holes. And we are not <laughs> proud of that. And we're not proud of that. Apostates are everywhere. They are among us. They are even people who memorize the Quran. They are copies of the Quran. The youth are full of doubts. Our youth are full of doubts. And we tell them doubts. What doubts, man? Doubts. What doubts, man? <laughs> Have some guts. Be a man. Have some guts, dear man! But nobody is answering their questions. And nobody's answering their questions. We tell them to stop questioning and to stop being emotional. And we tell them to be a Chad. Be a Chad. You can do it. I believe in you. But instead, <laughs> they choose to be bad. We've seen this happen, unfortunately. We've seen this happen to a lot of people. If it continues like this, your child is going to become an apostate. Yo, your child is going to become an apostate! Imagine your child, your child, the child that you are raising could end up with the disbelievers, with the Kufar and go to Hellfire. Hellfire will want to swallow them. Hellfire will <laughs> roast them. Roast them. Toast them. Toast them. Break them. Break them. Shake them. Shake them. Hellfire. Hellfire will annihilate them. Will annihilate them. And the rest of us <laughs> will be watching. Will be watching. Brothers and sisters, we must act now. We must do something about this. And what you can do is to donate to our channel so that we can do something. May Allah keep us firm. Never let us go astray. May Allah keep our children firm. If we don't take constructive steps now, this is going to become an avalanche. It is going to become an avalanche. A tsunami. A tsunami. The apostates, they are everywhere. They don't make it public. They hide it. They are leading prayers. They are leading prayers to the Muslim. They are still living the life of a religious Muslim. And they are still leading that life while simultaneously declaring their apostles. Brothers and sisters, if you feel as strongly about this as I do, then please donate to us and our cause. You can make a one-time donation or a monthly donation. Please be generous. Please donate to this Give whatever shake. you can so that we can take the responsibility and alhamdulillah spread apostasy. Donate now. Help now. You may even receive many gifts in heaven, in paradise, in Jannah. You can get a house next to me or next to some other very good looking man. You have an opportunity right now. On this Haram New Year, you can do something halal and donate your money to us. So what are you waiting for? Donate now. Leave it to Shaykh Yabudi. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> powerful message yeah yeah i i want to powerful. remind everybody once again of this of this beautiful message that i think is in my opinion the best um the best islamic appeal to the public to donations the best message by a muslim scholar made powerful ever. apostate yeah. da apostate dawah 
yeah, yeah, amazing. Shaky booty is just it's just the best. It's just the best shake out there, man. So make sure to donate to that shake so he can fix things for and, everybody. And if you don't, you'll simply be encouraging people to write Quran verses on their penises and their boobs yeah. and their breasts. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, what are your conclusions about this? Uh, about these beautiful revelations that we have heard today? um my goodness you, you know what you know you know it's weird it's like if if they weren't horrible horrible people calling to calling for mass murder and if they approached it differently in a way that wasn't like inciting mass violence and mob violence and mass executions and so on if they weren't doing that and they approached it differently they probably they probably get more people being sympathetic to them like hey you know hey I, I man i get it i get it you believe that islam is true and you're worried about the kids and stuff like this and you see they're they're writing quran verses on their penises and so on and <laughs> um i understand why that would be upsetting to you and so yeah I, I i get it i get why this is bothering you instead it's oh we're gonna kill everyone we're gonna slaughter them all we're gonna murder everybody it's gonna be a massacre and it's like oh gosh <laughs> um, now, now now i get so now i get why people are so mad and that they're uh you know defecating on your book and so on yeah and writing muhammad on their on their penis it's just of course, what else could they possibly do? What else could they do? Let them do it. Let them write Muhammad on their penis. Let them write the Shahada on their breasts. What's what's going to happen? What's the worst thing that's going to happen, dear dear sheikhs? I appeal to to you, dear sheikhs. I appeal to you, reasonable elders who are leaders of the Muslim community, who are examples of of morals who are examples of how to act in the face of such provocations and such shameful behavior why don't you just let people write ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah on their boobs why don't you just let people write muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam on their penises what's the worst thing that could happen why is it so bad? Please let them do this. Just let them do it. It's okay. Let them do this. Maybe they will get tired of it. They will get bored of it in the end. They will not keep doing it. They will not continue doing it if you don't get provoked by it. Just let people write these things on their genitals and on their private parts. Let them do it. You know, it's crazy because there are people who like tune into shows yeah. late and yeah. this is what they hear us talking about. <laughs> people will be like, what? You guys keep talking about writing quran verses on their privates and stuff like that what's wrong come on david you're a christian it's like <laughs> it's like we don't we don't want to talk about this stuff guys they make us right they, they the ones, speak for yourself man. Yeah, they're the ones who want to they're the ones who post these videos and and then we have to address it because because uh, people need to know people i mean when people when when these guys are calling for mass murder over uh over the rise of this you know this pakistani style of blasphemy I mean, people. We need to discuss this stuff because these guys are these guys are actually. It, it's very clear these guys are calling for mob violence. These guys are calling to, for people to go out and murder people in the streets over, over blasphemy. And by the way, th this actually parallel. Remember Theo Van Gogh, Theo Van Gogh. Um, he was murdered. He was murdered and almost beheaded. And when I say almost beheaded, meaning they cut all the way through and didn't finish, but it was it was his head was basically off. Mm -hmm. And um, and that was all over his little short film submission, which he made with uh, with Ion Hersi Ali. But the, the the women in the video had uh, Quran verses written on them, and that's what yeah. that that's what made people flip out. You wrote Quran verses on a woman's body, and that's what he had to die for. And these guys are saying, hey, let's go out and go on a killing spree over other people doing something similar. By the way, you can find that video on uh, YouTube, everybody, if you want to uh, have a context and check out why in the world people killed 
somebody who made a short film. You can uh, find that video on YouTube and on many other platforms by just searching for short for a short film submission by Theo van Gogh. And the video is just a woman. Um, asking a la questions. Asking about a lot why, questions. About why she's being treated this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About a lost, a lost justice uh, and the things that he allows a man to do to her while having grand verses written on her. It was really well done because, I mean, he was, uh, I mean, this guy was uh, an actual, like, di direct movie director, film director yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And, like, he, he had he has a he had a kind of mad scientist vibe about him. And so so when he actually wanted to make just a short, just a short 10 minute video, it was uh, pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was one of those people who have this this bohemian thing about them. It's like he looks kind of like a mess and probably doesn't have a very well organized life. It smokes and drinks and produces amazing art. Yeah. And his last words were, Can we talk about this? Yeah. To the guy As who he was, was being killed. Yeah, to the guy who was murdering him. Yeah. Can we talk about this? And they made a monument for him to remember him in the Netherlands, which is the screaming. Wait a minute. I want to and him. then in Pakistan, they apparently made a bunch of monuments to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They made this this monument, which is called the Scream, uh, which I want to show quickly here, because just because I find it so interesting. Um, this, this, they built this monument for him in memory of Theo van Gogh and, um, as an, as an honor to, you know, as a thing to honor free speech. That's what happened. Uh, yeah. All right. So let me look at super chats. This is one of those times where I laughed so much <laughs> that my head feels heavy and I feel very exhausted now from the laughing because we had to talk about very interesting things here. Anyway, Alka said, uh, greetings from Greece. Are you planning to make a video sometime about the occupying northern Cyprus that no Muslim ever talks about? Un no. I don't think so. There are lots of things that I could make videos about. Uh, in this case, this would be something that is um, a rather political, national, you know, is an issue between two nationalities and their politics. I don't think I would make yeah. a video on that. Yeah, AP is not going to say anything about that because he sides with Turkey and everything. Um, <laughs> With Turkey, no, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no. It's, I just, I just think it's not my place to talk about that stuff. Yeah, yeah I don't know enough about, it, but that—that's something that a person from Greek, Greece, or Cyprus should be making a video about. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Deaf culture said AP show or Orthodox Jihad on YouTube has been trying to contact you. He sent you an email a while back. I, yeah, I'm aware. Um, and yet you deliberately ignored him. Wow. No, it's just wow. I am terrible communicating with people and you're not as bad as I am. Corresponding, getting back to them. There are even I have probably I have my my mailbox is full of people trying to contact me and even look, <clears throat> even even people sending me texts that I am really interested in talking to people inviting me that I'm really interested in talking to like people that I am like, I have more interest in talking to them than they have in talking to me. And yet it is all stalled because I am a terrible, terribly unreliable person when it comes to back and forth communication um, on the internet. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, have, I have multiple email accounts. I'm just looking at two of them right now. I have 176,989 unread messages in one account <laughs> wow. and 39,779 unread messages in, uh, in, in the other account. And so it's Look just a, it's competence. Yeah. Stuff just gets buried real quick. Like 
You know what's funny? I ch I changed at first. I was leaving everything that I didn't read unread, but then I realized later that this is not working. It's just turning into a giant mess. So I just thought it's uh, marking everything automatically as read as soon as I get the notification, and now it's just all lost. So terrible, terrible people, mm -hmm. terrible, terrible people. This is why we hate hate Islam. Uh, but yeah, I will try to get back to him. Thank you, Death Culture. Uh, Zagros said quick jizya. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the jizya. Um, we, I accept. I accept. And as with this jizya, you are now not fair game. You are protected and you will not be killed by our uh, by our jizya collectors. Thank you, Zagros. Uh, Dasha Logan made a super sticker, which people have seen. I cannot see anymore here because YouTube is kind of dumb. Uh, but thank you. Uh, S1002 said, who would Andrew blame if he left Islam and was axed? Probably the Matrix. Or the Islamic Matrix. I don't know. We will, we will see. Nine Strikes said, this scholar reminds me of a guy named Adolf. Nah. Not quite as passionate, not quite as uh, eloquent, not quite as... You do uh, You do have to always watch out for those guys who are... Uh... Ah! We have to go out and mass murder everyone or we're doomed! It's pretty creepy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, no, that's that's probably the same, uh, same attitude. Same uh, attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to say anything more about this. <laughs> Villainous SSB said, I like how slow the last guy stands up. It's like, I have to do this. <laughs> I, would like to the whole video. I would watch that whole thing again and just analyze everything that people are doing in that video. But, do like, I seriously have to stand up with these guys? Why are we standing up now? I have a hard time standing up anyway. Why do we have to do this now? Anyway, let's just do it. Just to send a message to the people at home to stand up and kill people who write Muhammad on their penis. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, Stuart Walker said, this is also last 7th century, LOL. Yeah. Islam, yeah, yeah. Emre Eriyurt, speaking of Turkish, said, will you go voting against Erdogan? Yeah, you uh, still vote. You still vote in Turkey. Turkey has established this very interesting system. This government has established a system where people who are Turkish citizens and le and live outside of Turkey can still participate in the elections by going to the embassy. Uh, but I don't care. I'm not going to. Do it. I don't. I'm. I'm. I don't. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I don't care. Because no. AP is a huge Erdogan fan. Um, <laughs> that's why he won't comment on Cyprus. I love Erdogan so much. I love him so much. And he loves me too. That's why there are still ongoing court cases against me in Turkey. And they will probably uh, detain me as soon as I enter the country and say, you will have to give a statement and do this and this and this. And we will have to put some restrictions on you. That's how much I love Turkey. That's how much they love me. Uh, <laughs> Next Highlander said, finally caught you to life. Finally, we caught you. You didn't catch, catch us. Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. What? Highlander. Yeah, okay. Uh, Loretta Tibble said, hilarious. I don't know. I lost it today. We need to message Ninja this idea. You, the Ninja, the streamer? Why? Did he do something that is related to writing something on your body parts? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really interested now. Let me know. Anybody in the chat, if you know more about, about this, you probably don't know because you're old. But Ninja is a is a is a Twitch streamer who streams video games and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, um, Justin Bieber Bieber said, "Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Justin Bieber Bieber. I appreciate that." Uh, and Roma Gloria said, two Quran verses and one Sharpie." <laughs> Man, seriously, I'm really thinking. About getting creative with everything we have learned today. Yeah. 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 Uh, Lonin said, AP, don't confuse with Saudi embassy. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, AP, you should. Uh... <laughs> you Wait, should... Wooly you... said Ninja Mommy, he means. Really? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, you should. Uh... 
you should tell the Dawa guys that they have to give you a percentage of their donations or you'll make a video of you writing Quran verses on your butt. <laughs> 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 if they if they and you can tell those pack those those pakistani shakes and say hey if you don't if you don't want me to start this over here um you can uh you can you can pay me off <laughs> that would be funny. it would be like one of those ransom calls where like uh <laughs> send me two hundred thousand dollars by tomorrow 5 p.m if you don't want to see the shahad on my butt and it's just yeah it's just it's just a picture it's just a picture like the, a picture of a sharpie in your hand <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> and remember no police tomorrow 5 p.m <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy um look this chat already full of shy he means ninja mommy thanks oh here thanks af iron gbu what um what is what is yeah I, okay but adam seeker is actually the guy who yeah he who, made the video who shared the video and i don't know if you if he subtitled it but he is a he's an he's a native order speaker thanks adam for being here and for making this available to all of us and giving us a good ton of entertainment tonight and a lot of good ideas which which we can further visualize and yes adam seeker adam seeker you gave by spreading that video you gave a lot of people around the world a lot of ideas about private parts so good job be proud of yourself <laughs> for what you have done tonight uh, <laughs> what what did you do today adam seeker <laughs> i made a lot of people get a lot of weird images in their heads and i made david and ap say some really weird stuff <laughs> we before at all oh, isn't it weird like hijab, hijab jumps over in the chat and then we then we're sitting here talking about golden showers and stuff like that because because he talks about that stuff and then now we're sitting here talking about Quran verses on penises and <laughs> this is this is Islam. Uh, Roger Brodaki said <coughs> in a super chat, uh, and thank you for the super chat, by the way. Uh, if Allah God made the universe for us humans, then number one, why this 13 billion years? Wait, two, why create the other trillions of galaxies? Was he just bored? This is food for thought, something to think about if you do not believe in the creation story. And something I believe, may... I believe in creation. I think there's a stupid objection. Why is it stupid? Stupid? Well, it, it's a uh, it's applying concepts like uh, I don't know, almost like wastefulness or something like that. Like, oh, why did he waste so much time as if he's like bound by time and he's going to like, like, it makes sense to me worry about, for me to worry about how I spend my time. I've only got a certain number of years. If you're talking about, ah, you know, God created all that so long ago or something like that, like he's, you know, going to run out of time. And the same thing with uh, uh, creating other galaxies. Just keep my, talking, matter of fact, you'll be finished in a minute. Keep talking. Matter of fact, let me, let me go ahead and, and, uh, and, and give you an Islamic defense of uh, number two. <laughs> we were talking about number two. Uh, <laughs> why, why create the other trillions of galaxies? Interesting that it's trillions. Um, but notice, how do, we, how do we know that the universe had a beginning? So how can Muslims make a Kalam cosmological argument backed by the scientific claim that there's a beginning to the universe. They only know the, they only know the universe had a beginning because of these other galaxies. And I just happen to know from interacting with trillions of atheists that if God had made a tiny universe, you'd say, well, if he's God, why did he make a big universe? Like no matter what he does, if he, if he, if he created a, if he created a, a little while ago, why did he do it a long time ago? If now, hold on, hold on, David. In, in my opinion, it would make much more sense with the creation story, with everything that we know. Um, I would, I would, I would be, I would find it much more understandable if the idea was that God only created a small space where there is only one planet and things around them, because that's where everything takes place. I think in that case, I would feel like, oh, okay, you know, that would rule out the question of why. Is there a giant 
endless world out there full of different planets that could possibly harbor life, that possibly have life. Why all this process of billions of Why years? Why this of massive, glorious happened? universe that boggles your mind when it could have just made some tiny little thing? Come on. Yes, guys. yes. And by the way, I don't think about wastefulness when I think about this. What I think, I never even thought about uh, the issue of the problem of waste here. What I thought about is, okay, so here's a story. God or Allah cre wants to create humanity for a certain uh, issue, for a certain problem, for a certain role. And he does this by creating a universe which develops and expands in very wild, complicated ways for billions of years, just for, as a result of those billions of years in a tiny spot in that whole universe, in a tiny, entirely irrelevant spot that could disappear, nothing would change in the universe, in that tiny spot to put humans on a tiny little planet for a few thousand years, let them live for an average of 70 years, and then die, just so he can then have some eternal afterlife for them and with why, them why it somehow make, it seems why, a little bit why make strange. this big giant glorious universe it's like it's like i mean imagine vincent van gogh could have done anything instead he paints starry night why would he do that he could have done so many other things you know why First off, because he is a human who has the desire to express his creativity ah, somebody, and the desire to some the desire to express to, their creativity, the desire to show to others how he expresses to show creativity. something to others. Interesting, because, because to he show something human. about himself. Interesting, yeah, because, because he is a human who has the need underline and highlight need to express himself and to share his creativity with so, the others so he has he creates because of a need like yes. oh i need to do this yes. not wow need. i just like creating because i'm in the image of god and that that uh that genius mark zuckerberg pointed out based on his discussions with the rabbi image of god the image of god passage comes right after god creates god creates god creates god creates god creates god creates and then god creates man in his own image implication we create and then when we create you say oh because it's a need and why did god have to create something so big why couldn't he create a little tiny dinky little thing why couldn't he just create this room that i'm in right now and not create anything else so i don't have to look at how stupid it all is yeah because of a need because that's what people that's why people do these things because people feel satisfied if they wants express to make themselves something. anyone does, wants does, to make something does god super have the cool. need does, does god, god have the need to super cool shame <laughs> on you make something boring dang it just make a boring world instead of this glorious thing i so hate it i hate everything god creates i hate it i'm a whiny little atheist <laughs> here's something interesting now uh there there is this discussion i'm sure we would agree with me to a, to a certain extent here when we discuss capitalism and socialism for example uh, or communism and capitalism that if a world was run by capitalism only there wouldn't be much production and much uh, innovation and much to do because in a communist or socialist society, there wouldn't be competition. There wouldn't be the need to produce the things or put out things and uh, get something in return, which is why people on average or mostly would not be encouraged to produce or to create stuff. So society would not develop very fast and would be stagnant and quickly fall apart, which is why communist societies do not develop very fast, whereas capitalist societies in which competition exists develop very, very fast because competition and the need to be appreciated, to get things in return for producing something, for creating something, drives more and more competition which drives more and more production which drives more and more creativity and productivity and so on so it is fundamentally a need to not only express yourself but also get something in return like awe or a reward that's why people do things do they just do things because they just they just want to uh show to everyone hey look i'm fantastic I create stuff. Look at this. <laughs> let, 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 listen, we have, no. we actually they, have, they atheist, have, the, they have atheists need. there complaining about creating anything that's cool. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs>
if you, you make something that's just cool, like if I were to put a big painting on the wall or something like that, hey, people, ah, what kind of sick need do you have? <laughs> what kind of sick, selfish need do you have to make this beautiful spectacle here? Shame on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let, anyway, let, interesting perspective. The takeaway so. message, ladies and gentlemen, is no matter what anyone does, atheists will whine about it. Yeah, terrible, terrible, terrible. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Hey, here's you guys. Here are you guys. Brothers and sisters, do you know God created an entire universe <laughs> and other people want to create too? What, what, what can we do? Should we burn the entire creation to the ground? <laughs> stop it. We have to stop this. <laughs> what else can we do? Where will we go for justice? Which door should we knock on? Should we burn down cities now? That's Pakistan. That's Pakistan. That's today's topic. That was amazing, man. That was just amazing. I had so much fun watching grown-up giant I, babies cry about what people are doing. I want to. I want to like find more videos of those dudes, man. Why? Why are you suddenly so quiet? What happened? Check, check, check. Oh, sometimes my mic adjusts when I yell. <laughs> check, smart. check. It's a smart microphone. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Um, Tanky said, and far for dead there for Oh whoa. Hey, for I think David I, Wood hey Joe, no, no, no. I think I figured it out because I just went to my uh I went to my volume and it's all the way down. This thing is on some automatic set. Remember how it's, how it's been confusing me? Like it always yeah, uh yeah. It, like I always raise it up and then it goes it, yeah, it drops. Yeah. This yeah. thing is automatically adjusting some of that means it's in the settings somewhere. All right, yeah. I gotta figure yeah. this out. Go ahead. By the way, to this earlier uh question, we were just um rambling about things on our on our minds just because it's fun i genuinely don't think that the question why so much time for the whole universe is a um is a is a proper and valid argument against creation it is just an interesting question food for thought to ponder on but nothing nothing further you could ask this, this question and it would be an, an interesting thing to think about but I personally think it's not an argument against creation. There are arguments, solid ones. This one is not. No, there aren't. But it no, is an interesting they're all, food for thought. They're all very varying levels of dumb. Uh, all the all the arguments. Yeah, that's just your. I don't stuff. see. Like, I don't see anywhere to take it off. Automatic. This is weird, dude, because this must have been some update that no one told me about because I've had this I've had this computer for years. It's never done this. And just recently in the past couple months, it started auto adjusting my volume levels, which screws everything up. You need to learn how to use a computer. This is just it's embarrassing. This is <laughs> uh, tanky said and five for David Wood two minus a piece jizia cut. Of course, people are giving you jizia uh nuno rodriguez uh, and thank you tanky nuno rodriguez said quran versus internet islam getting found out ouch yep 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 anyway so i have these papers on the ground <clears throat> which are still here because i just it's hard for me to remove these things and i i step on them sometimes and i Slip. Hey, I'm scared that I will slip and fall down and die, and and, and it will spread the rumor that Allah killed me for ripping up the Quran. So, hey, Adam, but, Adam, Adam, Seeker, please, by all, please, Adam Seeker, send a video, send this video of uh, AP right there with his uh, Quran pages to those guys uh, from <laughs> from that video. I have say, this. Just send a message and say, "Look I what they're doing! You. Look what they're doing, brothers!" And see if uh, see how they react. Let me warn you. Hey, now, now I've got the volume. Let me warn over. you. I will. I'm, I'm sitting here it. watching. I'm sitting here watching this volume adjust as I'm talking. That is so creepy, man. That's creepy. That's creepy. By the way, for all those who missed the context, I did not just yell. I will poop on this out of nowhere. This is <laughs> context, <laughs> this was, ladies and gentlemen. This was context. context. This was one of those things mentioned in the video where those men were crying about people pooping on Quran pages. That's why I did. I, I just yelled this. This is not me. So please, ladies and gentlemen, don't blame me. Um, why is somebody saying eat it? I'm not going to eat this. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't gross. want to eat this. Kind of weirdo. It's disgusting. Eat the Quran. Yeah. yeah, disgusting. Who would, who would do that? And we and we all know if if someone were to insult the Quran by eating it, he would die instantly. Yeah, yeah. 
if you're gonna poop on it, make a video. I will. Um, AP, please don't show us your bum. We beg you. I will have to at some point. Uh, <laughs> um, somebody said there is a gin in David's computer. Uh, Wu Li said AP burn them. Let's burn something. Maybe soon. Uh, oh. Uh, why did we just freeze like this? Ellie Shamu, isn't this one of your friends? Yeah. yeah, he's a he's a Christian. Notice how the Christians are way more generous than he just your, he just gave your... gave he gave me money, not you, despite being your friend. This is this is interesting. Wow. This is this is I appreciate this development, dear dear Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I appreciate this this new development, and I I hope that <laughs> that this can be the new uh, direct direction that we that we go into. <laughs> the new he, direction he saw, that we go into. He saw your powerful uh, message from uh, Shake Your Booty. <laughs> I hope this could be the new direction to go into, where you could uh, give the money to me instead of giving it to David Ward. <laughs> Uh, just kidding. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie, for the contribution. Uh, it's a very good and entertaining comedy and apologetics. The material is very funny. I know. It's just, it's like some jokes write themselves. And we're like, we didn't even have to add very much. Or I, no, to, be, to be very honest, not, not to be very humble. We made this much funnier, especially me. No, just kidding. Um, no, the content was really, was really hilarious. I didn't expect this at all. I thought we would just be talking about some uh men crying about people leaving islam i had no idea about the further details i had no idea that that they are also going to talk about some really messed up stuff so i'm kind of surprised and that made it much funnier for me as well and just so you know brothers and sisters <laughs> we've got some re we're gonna do some reenactments of what these people are doing so that you know here's the toilet and we've got a quran right here <laughs> 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 oh boy oh boy oh boy somebody became a member who just became a member kiran kumar just became a member and signed up thank you thank you thank you thank you it's especially important that you uh make super chats donate sign up now with this in this special episode where we talk about a very specific new phenomenon of people writing Muhammad and Quran verses on their private parts. Uh, be a witness to this historic development and contribute, become a member, join this channel, become a subscriber, do whatever you can to spread the news of people writing Muhammad and uh, the Shahada and the Quran on their body parts and welcome this these news house of hikmah said i was thinking about incorporating these ideas in thursday's live stream and to make it pg how <laughs> how how are you going to do that how are you going to do that maybe you can, lots can of lots of blurring stuff out <laughs> yeah 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 it's 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 incredible. House of Hikma, thank you for for the contribution. All right, all right. I think we have to go because David has to go. Um, I like the video already. Yeah, while you're here, also leave a like uh, on this video. Uh, I urge you. I must warn you to leave a like on this video if you don't want to be uh, if you don't want those people to burn down your cities uh and thanks every again for watching everybody um sarah rainey said nsfw inherently yeah not safe for work inherently absolutely absolutely i should also mark this video here as not safe for work i don't know if we will have any problems with this um, and speaking of not safe for work uh i will have an after show <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, no, I will not. Um, I won't. I will have I will not do anything. Uh, were you just gonna say something, David? No, I'm still I'm still uh, I'm still trying to figure out the settings on this thing. Uh, okay, fantastic. You figured that out. And uh, <laughs> man, what a what a show. What a stream. What a topic.
great developments. Lots of stuff are happening that Islam mists don't like. <laughs> Sararini said AP is only fans. I don't know. I, I'm thinking. I'll think about this further. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in today. Thanks for watching and being part of this comedy show, the funniest and most watched show on the planet. Uh, we will be together again tomorrow on David Wood's channel, as far as I think. I have no idea. I guess so. Uh, we will plan that out and link to that stream. And we will see you tomorrow. And everybody who has uh, not heard the most famous line ever spoken in the world, why don't you repeat it for everybody, David? Should I write it on my butt? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what you need. You, you need a video of you <laughs> writing, stay away from Islam <laughs> <laughs> on your butt. <laughs> oh, boy. And then everyone can read it. Stay away from Islam. <laughs> yeah. Or stay away from Islam. You heard the guy. <laughs> <laughs>